is time for this corruption to come to an end. It has taken way too many lives of both Rhino and human. This run out day, I fully back Saving the Wild and their call for the United States to put sanctions to those corrupt South African court officials who are responsible for this rhino crisis. In the past century we have lost up to 95% of the world's rhinos. In South Africa alone we have lost 259 rhino alone this year and sadly most of them in the home that once brought them back from the bridge of extinction. I truly believe there is no answer that the South African government would be able to give me that would be able to satisfy me that they are doing all that they can to help save the rhinos. Our neighbours in Namibia and Zimbabwe have been able to arrest numerous projects to help stop the rhino trade. Just two months ago, Namibia was able to arrest within two weeks 11 people, seize numerous vehicles, weapons, ammunition, and tens of thousands of dollars in Namibian cash. All 11 not receiving any bail. Yet here in South Africa, we are still waiting for Davi Krunewald, who was first arrested back in 2010 in connection with rhino poaching, to be put on trial. So I urge for you to act and call on the South African government as well as your local government for more acting on this rhino because actions speak louder than words. Back in 2017, an investigation into corruption in Lufluwe Mfalozi National Park that was paid for with taxpayer money and still, it still hasn't been released by the KZN government.